Alright everybody, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I think I finally learned what the name of this game is. Isn't that impressive? When last we left off, uh, some stuff happened. We like finished the Spirit Temple, it really didn't take as long as I thought it would. And then we came back here, and we learned that Sheik was really Zelda. I mean, you probably already knew that, you know, because you played this game before, when you were a child. But uh, if you didn't, pretend to be shocked in the, in the comments. Tell us how surprised you were, how it blew your mind, how nothing will ever be the same ever again. Anyway, Zelda revealed herself, and uh, she told us about how the Triforce split into three pieces, and we got the Triforce of Courage. And Ganon's got power, because he's, he's cool like that. I wish I had the power one, just to obliterate everything in one hit. Anyway, the point is, Zelda appeared, and she got kidnapped, like, instantly. And she's in Ganon's tower, and Ganon sent me a personal engraved invitation to come visit. I mean, I don't know why he didn't just capture me instead. That probably would have worked out a lot better for him, but he didn't. So anyway, we gotta go to, like, Ganon's tower and stuff. I think it's actually Ganon's castle, but I don't respect him as a monarch, so I'm not gonna call it that. It's a tower. He's, he's like an air traffic controller, so I don't know. So how have you guys been? You had a good time? Um, I'm kind of just starting my weekend a little bit here, so I'm in an okay mood. I, I would say I slept well last night, but I don't like lying to you. Anyway, we're back here at Ganon's uh, castle, as you see. This looks cooler than what I remember seeing five minutes ago when we saw it earlier in this LP. Look at that. Look at those pancake clouds. The textures overlapping with each other. It's beautiful. Exquisite. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if you recall, but the last time we were here, we couldn't exactly get across this crevasse. So, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe the hookshot will go get us over there. I don't know. I mean, I do, but I'm pretending that I don't. Let's move on. Penis. Can you hear me? It's Raru, the sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwell. You know, come to think of it, he, he never actually leaves. We probably could have just left him there. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. By their powers combined, it is Captain Bridge. That looks a lot better than the N64 version of the bridge, holy shit. And I always love that Link does not trust it and tests it out first. So yeah, yeah, that's a... Thank you, Navi, I was trying to look around. We got this pretty bitchin' bridge going on here, it's even got a Triforce now. It's got engravings, it has fake tiles. I mean, you know, I feel like they could have done something more than just build a bridge for me to get over here to kick Ganondorf's ass, but... I mean, I guess beggars can't be choosers, right? This is either the ultimate or the penultimate episode of, uh... Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I don't really know how long this dungeon is going to take. But, I guess we'll just give it the best we got. So, here's the central chamber and the central... I'm not gonna call it a puzzle. Uh, the thing. We were trying to get in that room right there. That is the central tower that leads up to where Ganondorf's sex pad is, where we can, we're going to kick his ass, right? So as you can see, there are a bunch of doors all around here. Uh, and these like the forest door, because it's green, it's got a green beam going over here. There's uh, a water door down there. It's made of pure evil, because it's the water temple, you know how it is. Anyway, so... We have a little room here based on every single temple that we've been in so far. So, the first one, I guess we'll just go in order. I don't know. And by order, I mean whatever order they are around the room. I don't know if it matters or not. Let's just go in here. This is the forest room, and it looks like we got some familiar foresty puzzles right up in here. And a wolf! Well, we're gonna have to take care of that first. Well, that was incredibly easy. I feel accomplished. Is it a key? Thank you, God. I appreciate it. What's five rupees to me at this point in the game, really? All right, we're gonna we're gonna go full fire over here. We're gonna start off with some dense fire because I'm a lazy pos and I'm not gonna light all these manually. And then 
We have our little final torch over here. We're gonna shoot with our big ass fire arrows. And look at that door, just pop right on open. That's the way you do it, kid. That's how you open doors if you don't have a key. All right, looks like we've got some white rupees. There's a Beemos over there and some fans. Those were decidedly not in the forest temple. This is, ooh, this looks like a pain in the ass. What this looks like. All right, so we don't need Den's fire anymore. Uh, we can put on the hover boots. Maybe the iron boots. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> All right, I suppose. Okay, I'm not pushing. I'm really just not pushing the D-pad fast enough, and uh, I'm falling because I'm an idiot. All right, there's a button down there. Let's see if we can take care of this Beemos butthole first. Got rid of him. So, switch back to the hover boots. Run over here. Hit this switch. I uh, have no idea. Oh, I see what that did. Okay. Hook shot. We already have the hook shot. What are you doing? What am I doing? Alright. And here. Now, the problem is if I go here, I'm just going to immediately gonna fall. Unless the fan is blowing, which I think is what we need to do. Navi's doing a thing right now, though. Bee. All right, uh, we can go over here, and I guess from here we'll go back to that rupee rot learner. Well, that didn't work out, did it? What do we have? Is there a platform down there? Let's just go to that center platform. I think that'll be a lot safer. If I get rid of Beamy Boy over here real quick, though. Fuck. Woo! Woo! My butthole. I, I was scared there for a minute. Alright. And we got these last two. As long as I'm cautious, shouldn't be a big deal. Grab that one. And grab this one. And there we go. And that brings us to this chamber. I don't know what's in this chamber. Some big orb thing. Good job. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, we got the light arrows like five seconds before we came in here, so... I guess we need to shoot with the light arrow. I'm a genius. Hi, sor Saria. How you doing? The force barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, Pinnis. So yeah, these are all just little self-contained rooms, vaguely based on the temples that you were, uh, that the, the door symbolizes. Um, I actually really kind of like this dungeon, as far as I remember. Um, just because they're like, the puzzles are actually pretty good. And, uh... It's not too long. It's not so long that you get tired of it. This is the Water Temple. Now, I kind of lied to you. It's not really based on the Water Temple so much as it's based on uh, the Ice Cave, which uh, wasn't as much of a pain in the butt as the actual Water Temple. We need ourselves some blue fire, which we do not have, unfortunately. But there's some conveniently in the middle of the room. This is probably another trap, I would guess. Cool. Actually, we do have an empty bottle. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on this C button. Got ourselves some blue fire. Now we're gonna go toast that blue ice. Is blue fire hot or cold? Is it yes or no? I don't know. You figure it out. All right. Oh no, it's a time puzzle. I don't even know what we're trying to do. <laughs> oh, oh. No, no, no! No, goddamn, every fucking time I do that. Alright, well, we, we have our health back anyway. Uh, I'm assuming we have to push one of these blocks into a hole, maybe. This one. No, get. Drop down. This one, like that. Okay. I, uh. 
I don't really know what that did. Do we need to break these, maybe? Nope. Uh, well, there's a thing over there we can get to with blue uh, fire, but we don't have a way... A, we don't have a way to get to it. And B, uh, we don't have any blue fire. Which is uh, going to be a bit of a problem. I think we weren't supposed to throw the thing in the hole. I think we were explicitly not supposed to throw the thing in the hole. Though, to be honest, I don't know if we can solve this room because we don't have the blue fire that we need. So I think we're going to have to go back and get some more. So I guess it's an okay thing we uh, wasted that fairy because we couldn't have used it anyway. Alright. Blue fire in hand. Let's try this again. Now that I have more of an idea of what we're actually doing, maybe. We can't just push that forward. And we could push it forward, actually. If this was blocking that hole. I don't know if that's really what we're going to want to do. And we'll just go with the tried and true method of... I'm just going to push buttons and see what happens. Okay, so that's in there. So now we can push this forward without it falling. And then maybe if we push it over again, and then push it towards the blue fire door. Maybe that'll do it. And let's not open that, because that has a fairy in it. Now hopefully, we can climb up on that lip up there. It's kind of what it looks like we can do. Alright, there we go. Just like that, and there's a little switchy do back there. Step on that, and it looks like I think we're probably gonna open that other door. Oh, fuck you. I know how the hammer works, so you don't need to review that part. <laughs> Doink! Back in here, empty bottle. Okay, I don't think the timer is important anymore. I think we got this. Alright, and that is the water temple. Or, well, it's what's representing the water temple, anyway. Shabams! Hello! The water barrier is dispelled. Hurry up! So much for my eternal love. Alright, looks like next we have the Shadow Temple, or the Shadow Room. I'm sure that'll be fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this ready, because you know we're gonna need that in the Shadow Temple. Alright, it looks like we need it. <laughs> As expected. Maybe not. That didn't actually do anything. Well, hell, I don't fucking know. Alright, well, there's a torch over here, and we can light that up. I don't know why I'm going to see what's in this chest. You know there's nothing good in here. <clears throat> yeah, you know, despite my already low expectations, it was even worse than I thought. That's the thing about treasure chests, man. We're hardwired. You gotta open it. You know it's fucking garbage, but you gotta go open it. Woo! Alright, we got the little penis tube monster thing. Oh shit, I think these are on that timer too. Uh, I hope we don't still need that. Actually, we probably could get over there with the hover boots. I think we can probably still get over there. Oof. Oof. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Got my hammer ready. I'm, I don't know why I'm going this way through the through the inventory screen. Don't ask, okay? Bonk. Oh, fuck you. All right, all right. And can we see it from here? Yes, we can. All right. All right. Oh, there's actually an item in here. 
<clears throat> na, 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 na. These are the golden gauntlets. You can feel even more power coursing through your arm. Grab with A and lift stuff up. Yeah, so we had those silver gauntlets for like what? Less than one whole dungeon. We're already replacing them. Alright, there's another thing over there. I don't think we'll be able to make that with the hover boots. I really don't. Where else are we gonna go? We gotta try to do it, I guess. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think so. Alright, you know, I probably could have just shot this from the other platform. Instead of being a dumbass. I could have just shot this and reset the thing without having to redo the whole thing. No. Such is life. Wait, there's not a thing over here. That's not gonna help me get over there. Do we need the thing now? God damn it. Alright. Uh, switch. Gotta hit the switch! Ugh. Oh. Ow. Piddle your shit. Okay, uh, there was a thing that led back over there, but we need to get to that door. So, let's go ahead and re-equip this. And that just leads right up to that door. There's also a... ...thing there. <clears throat> I don't guess we need that. Alright, we're at the end of the, uh, Shadow Temple thingy. Shabams! The shadow barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. Yeah, we're gonna do that whole princess saving thing, but I actually... I need to make a detour right quick. It's very, very important. Because we just got the golden gauntlets. And there's still a few more little secrets we can find in this game. There's actually quite a few. But there's even more that I'm not gonna go out of my way to find. But this next one I will. Now that we have the golden gauntlets, we can lift really, really big things like your mom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to the front of Ganondorf's castle where there is another secret that awaits us. And you'll get to see uh, Link do some mad lifting. Let's make our way on out of here. Yeah, we gave up on saving the princess. Uh, someone else can be the hero of time. This is the, uh, this is the timeline that Link to the Past happens in. Bye! Oh, there's a little skull up there. That's cute. Okay, moving on. So, over here, there is a uh, big-ass damn boulder in the way. Over by the wall over here. So, with our big-ass golden gauntlets, we are, we are Herculean in our strength. We can just pick this, pick this whole ding dang young thing up. And just, urgh! Look at that. Threw it that far. Look at how, look at how much this guy can lift, alright? Gandorf don't stand a chance. We're gonna fuck him up. Anyway, we're at this great fairy fountain now, and as with all great fairy fountains, we play the great fairy song, which is Zelda's lullaby. This might be the only great fairy we've encountered as an adult. Hello, dear. How are you? Welcome, Pinnis. I am the Great Fairy of Courage! <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, almost died for a second there. I'm going to enhance your defensive power. Which doesn't sound courageous, but okay. Receive it now! <laughs> As if I wasn't OP enough, we have now had our hearts fortified. What does that mean? Exactly what you think it means. It means we take less damage. Your defensive power is enhanced. Your defensive power has been enhanced. Damage inflicted by enemies will be reduced by half. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Ain't many battles left, but thank you for the offer. Let's get the hell on out of here. We got some more uh, puzzles to solve now, don't we? Yes, indeed. Life is like a big puzzle, really. 
And I'm not good at solving them. I really is that in the 3DS version? Like this uh, fancy bridge? Because I never actually played that. But I know they did a few remakes of Link to the Past. Not counting whatever weird abomination this port is that I'm playing here. That doesn't look so much better than the original one, though. Holy shit. Alright, uh, I guess we'll just pick up from this corner. Why not? Go out of order. L live life with, with anarchy. The Spirit Timpel. Alright, looks like we have a few white rubies to collect. Uh, there's some of those things that are going to be major buttholes. Uh, Y'all know the drill. And yes, the final episode, we had to hit the wrong button at least one more time. There we go. Well, this looks pretty easy. And our defensive abilities have been enhanced so much that we just clip right on through the blade barriers because we're just that good. Well, we didn't clip through that one. Look at that. They barely even damage us. Ganon gonna get his shit wrecked. Let me just grab that one right quick. That was almost a puzzle. Head right on through here. Yeah? We got another room. Some of these little fire butthole, whatever the hell these things are called. Murder them right quick. What do we have over here? Ooh. We can probably hit one of them using this little trick. Which uh, got us a chest, which I'm sure is full of very useful items. I did not. Yes! We will use your goddamn bomb shoes! Swear to fucking Christ, these fucking things. What if I- what if I'm really bad at the game, he says, as he completely misses. What if I just- Oh, okay. That was unexpected. What if I suck at this game, and I ran out of all my bomb shoes? What are the designers gonna do then? Do they have- is there another way you can solve that puzzle? Anyway. We're now in this room. Looks like we got a little, uh, I saw a web on the ceiling there. Well, we're gonna go I already kind of know what this is gonna do. This is gonna let some light down into the room. And then we're gonna use our badass shield to reflect it on all these little suns. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That's not the right one. How about this one? Is this the right one? Nice try, butthole. You know, whenever I'm prepared for them to do the thing, they don't do the thing. I feel like this is intentional, intentional game design. Game sure does want me to have rupees. God damn it! Mm. Finally! We finally got the right one after 19 tries. Alright, we get it. We get it. Money means nothing. Um, head on this way, and well, I guess we're already done with this room. Wasn't that nice? Nice little, uh, vacation, I guess. Which I think, uh, there's only two left. Actually, there might just be one left. Unless I forgot one, which is entirely possible. The spirit barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, kid! Someone's so rude to Link. I mean, I guess I did get like 50% of these people killed, but I mean, you know. Sorry. Alright, and that leaves us with... The fire barrier and whatever the hell is behind that door. Well, we're gonna do that one last. Because the game kind of implies you should do that one last anyway. So, next we have the fire temple. And we got some more white rupees. Eh, heat warnings. This is it's like a suggestion, right? This is like a level in Super Mario. The Goron's tunic is for pussies. I can handle myself. Right now I'm just gonna kinda do it as like a self-imposed challenge to do this before we die. 
try and hop up there. And the question is, how do we get to this one? It might be you might have to wait out there with the fire tunic. You might have to use it, I don't know. I guess we'll start with that one, just to kind of see how it'd be. But we'll try that first, just so we avoid wasting any more time. Because I know it doesn't make you immune to lava, but it does make you not take damage for a little while, so maybe that's the, the ticket, if you will. See, that self-imposed challenge lasted all like five seconds. See, nope, 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 I could have just done it. I don't need your stupid tunic. It's stupid. So I gotta figure out how, how we get supposed to get that. I have an idea. So remember when he lifted this thing up here? What if he throws it behind us and it makes a fucking shit? What if he throws it behind him and it makes a little platform for him to stand on, you know? I think maybe that's supposed to be the puzzle. And apparently if you're wearing the hover boots, you don't even fall in the lava. You're just so goddamn light. Alright, so we'll hop on up here, grab this, see what this does. Which I guess, you have to have done the Shadow Temple before you fuck. <sighs> oh goddamn it, you didn't have to reset it, come on. So we're gonna spend the entire rest of the video in the Fire Temple area. I uh, hope you guys are prepared for that. I hope you, uh, you didn't have anything better to do with your day. I certainly didn't. That is uh, why I'm making this video. So, grab that. Try to avoid the lava. We can just grab that and then jump on the thing. Link, 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 link! Woo! Alright. Well, that was a little annoying, no lie. Alright. We all know the drill by now. We're just gonna do this, grab the thing, throw the thing. Get that. Roll back on over here. And I gotta get this first one before I even bother trying to progress with the room. There's a hookshot thing on the side there. I don't really know how that helps us in any way, but... You grab the fucking platform, dude? <laughs> um, so I don't know how you're supposed to do this. If I, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I guess I'm doing it wrong because we're not succeeding. Alright, well, what we can do... I mean, the way that I'm getting over there doesn't appear to be the issue. It's getting back off the platform after we get that, that one rupee right there. So, we can hookshot our way over to the end and then just grab onto that platform, but I don't know if that's really... It's not going to make that much of a difference for us, I wouldn't imagine. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to try it without the hover boots. Because maybe the lack of traction is fucking me. Nah, that seemed to work. Alright. Now, let's just go ahead and grab the rest of these fucking things and get the hell on out of here so we don't have to spend any more time in this room. Alright, uh, one right rupee here, and there's one more on that platform thing right over here. <sighs> that was my fault. I deserved that. Alright, well, we know the solution now, so now we just have to go through the repetition part. Again. You get just a little bit better every single time you do it. That's not true. I get worse. Alright, grab this little dingle dangle, go over here, jump, run, jump, rotate, jump. Alright, and we're back, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna be really careful to, well, I wasn't that careful, but I still got hit. <laughs> Alright, so this time we just gotta not be impatient. 
Come over here, grab the thing. We got plenty of time for the little tunic thing. Tunic's not even our problem here. And then we run out and grab this last one. I swear to God, dude. <laughs> I swear to God, if that cutscene made me fall in the lava, I was gonna lose my shit. Alrighty, and just poopy blop on over here. Yeah, I don't need your stupid tunic. I'm a strong man. Ooh, yeah, the fire barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, brother. And I believe that is all the barriers that we need to dispel here. Although there's still this big ass rock down here. And I find myself most curious as to what lies behind it. That's not even a joke, I really don't remember what's behind here. Ah, oh, the light door. Light wasn't really a thing we ever dealt with before. Really? <laughs> I fucking skull feel like. Alright, so we murder everything in the room. Uh, I guess we want to figure out which one of these is the right chest. Is that pretty much is that what we're going for here? Oh, no. Uh, this is the right chest. Got it. Boop. Got ourselves a small key, and uh, I don't care about those chests. I still care about. I, never mind. I, I lied to you. I care about these chests. Actually, come to think of it, you probably just need to play the uh, the Zelda song here. All right, we got ourselves a key. Um, last challenge was apparently playing Zelda's Lullaby. But, uh, you know, maybe a bit of an anticlimax, he says, and then he comes into this fucking room. Alright, one thing here. Pretty basic stuff. Now, how do we get up top? Alright, we're missing one. That's not good. That's not good, lads. Where, where's the last one at? Yes! Arrows! What I always wanted. Yeah, apparently I found it by accident. Woo! Where's my thing at, Raru? Oh. Creepy and weird? Raru, you're not even a real sage. The light barrier is dispelled. Hurry! is open. What shall await on the other side of this door? We shall find out. Maybe in the next video. Maybe right now. I actually don't know. Uh, cause I'm gonna take a little break because I got some other stuff I gotta look at right quick. And uh, depending on how long the video ends up running, I might split it into two parts. Or we might just make it all one big old video. We'll see here in a second. Anyway, uh, for you guys, it'll be instantaneous. So... Alright, everybody. Uh... I say that like it hasn't been exactly two seconds since you heard from me the last time. Uh, I'm back. 
Yay! Let's move on. We have this big ass door that looks like the thing from The Witcher. And there it is. If you listen closely, you can hear it. But you have to listen over my loud, obnoxious talking and the sound of these keys getting murdered by a hookshot. Honestly, this, this, this section of the game probably would have benefited from not having any combat in it. But, uh, anyway. Here we are. We are, we are now in this place. Look at it. Isn't it really cool? If you listen really closely, you can hear Ganondorf's theme playing in the back- You son of a bitch. Ganon's theme playing in the background. And we're gonna climb up this incredibly long set of stairs. I would actually really just like to listen to the music, but I guess we gotta deal with these Dino Boys first. Alright, show me what you got. Oh, the best item in the game didn't kill these guys. That's unfortunate. Alright. Uh, does it matter what door we go out of? I believe this is the last door right here. Nope. Oh, we got a boss key in this in this dungeon, apparently. I don't know that we need a boss key for this dungeon, but sure, why not? Alright, you see what happened to your buddy there? It's gonna happen to you next. As soon as I learn how to play the game, you're gonna be in big trouble. He lives late in the game, getting beat up by a Stalfos. Very sad. Well, lads, what do you want to bet is inside of this really large, oversized chest? It's the boss key! You got the boss key. And you can now, you can now get into the boss chamber. This, too, harken back to the uh, Super Nintendo, where this was Ganon's theme in that game as well. Oh, so we got two of these this dudes right here. That's gonna be fun. It's actually gonna be a fun little encounter, I think. I really should have started this closer. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun with these dudes. It's a shame they can't hurt each other. Ah! That's got a double dick over here. These guys are pretty challenging if you don't know the little jump thing. And away we go. I keep thinking we're at the last door, but we're not. And there it is, lads. You can hear him, he's in there on the organ, playing his own boss theme. That's how much of a badass this guy is. Yeah, it's gonna feel really silly when you can't get up to the top of it. Are we about to go through yet another door? God damn it, this boss room's so big. It's so big you can't even get to the top of it. That's how big it is. Man, you gotta chill with the stairs, man. I'm getting a, a leg workout over here.
Nice pixels. Go attack him while he's playing the organ. The Triforce parts are resonating. They are combining into one again. The tri the two Triforce parts that I could not capture on that day, seven years ago. I didn't expect they would be hidden within YouTube. And now, finally, all the Triforce parts have gathered here. These toys are too much for you. I command you to return them to me! Penis, I can't help you! Because of the waves of darkness, I can't get close! I'm sorry, Penis. Great King of Evil, Ganondorf. I think what that means is you can't Z-target in this fight. Good job. So I don't actually remember how to fight him. I think you... I think you shoot him with the arrows, but apparently that is not indeed correct. Apparently, you commit suicide by jumping off the ledge like a fucking dipshit. Hold on, just, just give me a minute. I'll be right back. Uh, just, just give me a minute. I kind of fell off the ledge there, so if you could just, um, if you could just give me a moment. Oh yeah. All right, you're you're a great big old butthole, dude. So I think we're doing this little bat thing again. Well, good job. Alright, maybe he is the king of evil. As long as I don't fuck up my timing, we're good. You see, you've been working out, dude. You got better at this. Is this... Is there more to this? Alright, alright. I think I missed my opportunity. You're supposed to shoot him with the light arrows when you do that, I think. Oh, you little butthole. You little butthole. Alright. Alright. Major point. I got my bat ready. We're good to go. Now, if I were really good, I could use that uh, stab exploit that I talked about earlier in the game. I. Mm, all right. Okay. First of all, hover boots. That's gonna help us out here a little bit, I think. Get my stuff ready. It was awfully nice of him to put all these hearts down here for me, though. Very considerate. People don't talk about how considerate Ganondorf is, but... The man is sporting. Hold on, let me get in position first. I hate my life. Alright, so uh, I'm glad this mod has a faster climbing thing. That is very nice. Do we need to get on... Do we even need to go over there, or can we do it from this little... Because he's probably gonna, he's gonna do his little ground pound thing, and we're gonna fall like that. And it's gonna be really embarrassing, and you're gonna downvote the video, and I don't blame you, to be honest with you. I'm right there with you. Ganon, you're a butthole. <laughs> I hope you know that. 
So yeah, I definitely need to go over to one of those little edges if we can get over there before we, you know, before he actually hits me in the face. Last time I tried to do it, I didn't make it though, which is unfortunate. The real enemy of the game is the platforming. It's one of those times where I feel like I'm just doing something really, really stupid and not quite getting how I'm supposed to do this. Maybe we don't need the hover boots to do it. Could be, maybe it's one of those times where you'd be better off just jumping. Or, I guess not. Because I don't have enough room, I can't stay on that central platform. He's just gonna knock me off. Can you block it with a shield? No, you can't block that with a shield. I don't really know why I thought you could. Alright, I'm ready. Put me in, coach. And this part usually isn't too bad. God damn it. <sighs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we just saved it a little bit ago, and I think I can still recover from this video. Just pretend it never happened, bury it, no one will ever see it. My pride is still salvageable. God damn it. Well, I'm giving you the experience of playing this when you were eight. God damn it! And I'm wearing the iron boots for some reason. But that's actually starting to annoy me, to be honest. I understand skill issue. Still annoying. You can grab the ledge now. Good thing you've learned. God damn it. Alright, I'm sorry for all the times I made fun of you, okay? We did it perfect that time. Now it's to do it nine more times. Or however many times it takes to down this guy. Oh, you're not even gonna give me the sound cues anymore. I don't blame you. Everyone's already stopped watching this shit anyway. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright, I think I might have finally got it, people. There's some hope left. There's no hope left. What the fuck is this? Okay, uh, I don't remember that, but apparently that's a thing he does. And the shield does not work on them. Nice to know. Bonk. Every time. Or way too many times to still be acceptable to be making the same mistake over and over again. Whew. You know what, Ganon, I'm gonna give you a partial on that. The great King Ganondorf, beaten by this kid, and he was doing so badly for like the first 75% of the fight. Penis! Oh, he's putting that Triforce of Power to use. Well, that was fast. Well, uh, that was, uh, that was a good fight there, uh... I hope you didn't see the 900 times I got beamed in the face by Ganondorf. Uh, just pretend I did a lot better. But you're safe now. Ganondorf. Pitiful man. Without a strong, righteous mind, he could not control the power of the gods and... Penis, listen to me. This tower will collapse soon. With his last breath, Ganondorf is trying to crush us in the ruins of the tower. We need to hurry and escape. Please, follow me. Hold on, I need to take off my boots. Alright, let's get on out of here. The game was nice enough to heal me back to full. Uh, we call that pity, I suppose. Alright, I don't know if I need to follow you, really. I think I get the gist of it. Uh, Ganondorf's stairway has turned into a uh, stone platform. Whee! Oh, there you are. Yes, I'm still here. You can open the door now. Onward! To victory! And at this point, I don't have to care about finding secrets anymore. Watch out for falling rubble. <laughs> Timing, though. Alright. Alright, would you like to open the door, please? Remember this tower being a lot bigger on the way in here. <laughs> I almost took a fall that even the hover boots couldn't save me from. Oh no, she's trapped in a ring of fire. And there's these skeletons here for some reason. You know, if I weren't so lazy, I would just take a, a clip of that part really early on in the LP where I said I'm good at the combat, and I would just play it every time I have an oopsie, which uh, has been an awful lot this video. <laughs> Thank you, Penis. Now let's hurry. Here's some hearts that came out of my ass. Onward! Lead the way! What? 
I think we have like one or two more little combat encounters like that before we uh, get the hell on out of here. I like how the structure of the tower is completely different from what it was before. I'm fine, keep moving. I've handled worse. I'm fine. No re-dead can stop me, except when they do. Take that! Onward! Oh, that's the exit right there, I believe. Or it's supposed to be, anyway. And just in time, too, let's go ahead and get some stuff ready. Ah, uh, we don't need the Lens of Truth anymore. It just gets me in trouble. But we will take that. Now we have the building falling down in glorious... N64 esque graphics. It was impressive for the time, okay? The door starts vomiting up rubble. The tower just kinda. Eh. Oh, I think this one tower just falls in the middle there, like, oh. And then Ganon's tower became Ganon's pancake. You know, all things considered, that was a very organized destruction of a tower. It's over. It's finally over. Penis. I'm sorry I couldn't help you in battle before. Okay, it's probably nothing. It's probably just like some residual heat from the tower, you know. Uh, still smoldering over there. You never know, maybe it's like a gas line or something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna need that bridge to get back to Hyrule City. I think it's just completely gone now. Um, in fact, we're we probably we're in the void right now. I think we're uh, I think we're fucked. What is that sound? All right, I'll go investigate it. Since that's what you want me to do. Ganon. Can I just say, that was the most awesome part of this game. And I have seen the 3DS remake, and they made this scene way too bright. The lighting here, everything's so dark. That is just, that is super epic, by the way. There's no way he's gonna hold me back again. This time we fight together. Also, you lost your Master Sword, which is sad. Now, honestly, I don't think Ganon's all that difficult, but, uh, you know, it is a really, really cool introduction. Now, we lost the Master and Sword, but, uh, I, I have this one, so I'm, not, I'm really not that worried about it. And also, we haven't used this yet, so let's go ahead and see what this does. This is supposed to protect us from damage, and, uh, it looks like it did a pretty good job of it, I have to say. Um... We just got bonked in the face, and we didn't feel a damn thing. This is great. I should have used this earlier, when I was being humiliated. Anyway, so he's got this little ass tail thing. 
you know, where you normally would put a, a tail on the ass. And we just gotta go bonk it with something. The big Goron sword, sword works, the hammer works if you don't have that. Probably some other stuff works too, but yeah, we'll just use the sword. And compared to Big Boy Ganondorf, this guy's actually quite a bit easier. There's no platforming, and also there's no platforming. But hey, after the humiliation you put me through in public, uh, I wouldn't mind an easier fight. And because I'm a coward, I'm gonna go ahead and reapply that. Hey, it's the last fight of the game, you might as well use all your stuff, right? Good swinging, Tex. Pinnis, the Master Sword is here! Hurry up! Now, I believe... You actually have to use the Master Sword to defeat Ganon here in the end. So the Master Sword will have its day again. I'm fine. I found this fairy in this cave in the desert and she taught me the spell that makes me completely immune to Ganon's damage. Like for real, I don't even have to try. It's, I'm, it's, it's great. No, oh, just, give, just give me a second, I gotta put my buff back on. I want to say you had to use the light arrows at some point during this fight, too, which I, uh... I certainly hope that we don't, because I'm using all my mana doing stupid shit. You know, I talked a lot of shit a few minutes ago about how easy this guy was, and, uh... Now I can't seem to actually hit the dude. Also, I can't use my light arrows while that's, uh... Up. Which I believe is what I need to do now. So I think I have to actually wait for this buff to wear off. As he is just absolutely not going to let me get behind him anymore. I think you have to shoot him with the arrows though. If my memory serves, which, you know, about 50-50 honestly. Oh yeah, you definitely need to use the arrows. Hold on, give me a minute. This, like many things in this game, is also very similar to the Super Nintendo game where you had to use the light arrows on against Ganon. In fact, I would argue in many ways, A Link to the Past is where a lot of the Zelda formula really started. But hey. They're both really excellent games. I go back and forth on which one I like better, but they're both really, really good. Alright, I'm gonna need you to, to die a little bit faster before I run out of mana. Alright, we need to get him to come over here and bonk another one of these uh, pieces of rubble so we can get some more mana. Just kindly take out that piece of rubble right there. Uh, I don't see any mana, that's unfortunate. See, I waste all my mana being a dumbass, and this happens. Alright, uh, gotta be some more rubble over here somewhere. Fairies are nice. I like fairies. Um, what I really need, though, is the way to cast more spells. And I'm running out of any way I can generate mana. Which is rather unfortunate. All right, last shot, I think. If not, um, I don't know. There we go. Thank you, sweet Jesus.
There we go. And he's on his knees. Nice hair, dude. I'm using my power to hold the evil king. Use your sword and deliver the final blow. I think if you take too long, he will get up and you'll have to go through another round. But we're not gonna do that. Right in the face. Pretty brutal for a Nintendo game, I suppose. Six sages now! Ancient creators of Hyrule. Now, open the sealed door and send the evil incarnation of darkness into the void of the evil realm. And this is how the universe was created. You! Curse you, Zelda! Curse you, sages! Curse you, Pinnis! Someday, when this seal is broken, that is when I will exterminate your descendants! In Twilight Princess! I think that's canonically what's after that, but I don't know. As long as the Triforce of Power is in my hand! Ah, we're now floating in the clouds. Uh, we're, we're falling to our death now, I think. Thank you, Pinnis. Thanks to you, Ganondorf has been sealed inside the evil realm. Thus, peace will once again reign in this world. For a time. All the tragedy that has befallen Hyrule was my doing. I was so young, I could not comprehend the consequences of trying to control the sacred realm. I dragged you into it, too. Now it is time for me to make up for my mistakes. You must lay the Master Sword to rest and close the Door of Time. However, by doing this, the road between times will be closed. Pinnis, give the Ocarina to me. As a sage, I can return you to your original time with it. And then I don't, I don't get to play with your boobies. When peace returns to Hyrule, it will be t time for us to say goodbye. Now go home, Pinnis. Regain your lost time. Home, where you were supposed to be. The way you were supposed to be. That's just Zelda's lullaby. Thank you, Pinnis. Goodbye. So it is my uh, very limited understanding that after this, basically time just kind of gets reversed in a way. Nobody remembers that you're the hero of time. No one remembers what you did. And uh, 
Link is back to just being that weirdo kid in Kokiri Village where he's kind of an outsider and, you know, clearly not like the other Kokiri. Now, as I've said in this video, I'm by no means a Zelda lore scholar or anything like that. I really just played the, the individual games and didn't really think about an overarching story much when I was a kid. But, you know, after this, uh, I believe he wanders off into the Dark Wood and then we have Majora's Mask. A game that I personally didn't like all that much. I know, heresy. If you hadn't already stopped watching the video, you'd stop watching it now. But, um... I don't know, I really felt like Majora's Mask kind of discouraged you from exploring, uh, which is something that I, especially as a kid, really liked about Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time, so I thought it was really off-putting as a child. You know, this is a... What can I really say about Ocarina of Time that hasn't been said about it before? It's a great game. It's one of the classics, you know, when people talk about games from that era, it's gonna be on any list of great games from the 90s. It's a fantastic little adventure, the dungeons are really well designed, music's good, just how jam-packed these worlds are, like this one and Link to the Past both, are just full of crap to find. And, you know, especially back then, there was no internet when you were a kid. That's a great way to kill a weekend, just wandering around in the world and seeing what you can find. And I certainly did that uh, many, many a day. I just liked wandering around in the world a lot of times and seeing if I could find anything that I hadn't found before. Um, you know, most of the dungeons in this game were not nearly as hard as I remember them. And I think that's probably true for most of the games in the series as well, and uh, indeed most of the games you remember from when you were a kid. They probably really weren't that hard. You were just, you know, a child. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, I can't say anything about Ocarina of Time that someone else hasn't said much better and much more um, succinctly. But I will say it was a lot of fun doing this uh, this Let's Play. I got some comments from you guys earlier this year. Uh, some people really wanted to see another uh, Let's Play, another series, so I decided to go ahead and do something. Uh, when I was looking at how long this game was going to take to finish, honestly, it felt a little intimidating, and I wasn't sure if I really wanted to d commit to doing a game this long, or I really wanted to make anything that was this involved, or that I could get lost in, potentially. But at the end, I think I'm uh, glad that I did it, because I had a lot of fun coming back to this game, and it was great. I suck at it, <laughs> as I'm sure you've all noticed by now. I'm not very good at it, but... Uh, you know, if you were watching these for skilled gameplay, you already know you're on the wrong channel for that. But I had a lot of fun playing it. Oh, the dude's got his bunny ears! I wonder if you don't sell it to him, does he have the bunny ears in this cutscene? Who knows? Uh, someone else can answer that question. I think canonically, we're gonna go back to that, I think canonically Lincoln's up with Talon. And I think you play as, like, his descendant in, um, Twilight Princess. Which I think follows this game somewhere in the timeline. Obviously, the direct sequel to Ocarina of Time is Majora's Mask. Oh god, put your wiener away, dude. You're, like, teabagging everyone here. Please stop. Anywho. No, it was a great time, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're having a good... Halloween season. Well, Halloween's over now. By now, you're starting to think about Thanksgiving, unless you're not in America. And then I just hope you're having a good old November, wherever you are. Um, honestly, glad people still watch my shit. Um, the nice comments that I get occasionally, uh, they're nice to hear. Because, to be honest, I don't really like my videos. I think, to be honest, I have to listen to my videos before I upload them. I think I'm loud and obnoxious, to be completely honest with you, but... I'm glad that they uh, bring some happiness to some people out there, and that you know some people enjoy watching them. I have a lot of uh, Let's Players that are like that for me, that I just enjoy some of their old content because it takes me back to uh, a simpler time, and uh, I'm glad to be that for somebody, even if it's only a few somebodies. Well, I think we are about coming to the end of this. As we can see, the sages are all happy together. Sorry is riding on top of Durania's head. I don't know how he feels about that, but I mean, you know, you're allowed to think whatever you want.
Wow. Man, I'm never picking up a sword again. the great master sword some big goron guy made a much better sword than that but still it's the master sword Legend of Zelda, and also Link, he's pretty important too. The Inn. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you when I see you. Take care of yourselves, guys.